It's back to the future for America's space program. They're counting down to an overnight launch in Florida. It's a test flight for a privately developed spacecraft that will get the U.S. back in the business of launching astronauts. Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center. This is SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, and on top sits its new Crew Dragon capsule. SpaceX Dragon. We no one will ride inside on this trip to the International Space Station. But if all goes well, NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley will be on its next trip as soon as this summer. So your mission is riding on the success of Demo 1? Certainly. I mean, I think the program was set up that way. And if something's going to go wrong, you want it to go wrong when it's uncrewed. Yeah, when we're not on the rocket, absolutely. The final liftoff of Atlantis. In 2011, NASA retired the space shuttle fleet. And ever since, its only way of launching U.S. astronauts has been to pay the Russians for seats on a Soyuz rocket. Now two companies, Boeing and SpaceX, hope their new space taxis will become the Uber and Lyft of space travel. Liftoff. But first, SpaceX has to prove its new spaceship can fly people safely. While no one's riding aboard the rocket, inside the crew capsule, SpaceX has put a dummy. It's a smart dummy with sensors all over it to measure the impact of the ride. We're going to learn a ton from this mission. Kathy Leaders runs NASA's commercial space program. We instrumented the crap out of this vehicle. I mean, it's got data, sensors everywhere. Space has transformed the American way of life. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Some of this is American pride. I like to use the word prestige. Um, great nations should be able to, to launch their own astronauts into space. That prestige and more will be on the line again next month when Boeing has a similar test flight scheduled. And Anthony, there are still a number of technical issues that both companies have to work through before NASA approves them to launch astronauts. And we wish them luck. Thanks, Mark.